Hello everybody in this video, let's see how to add a loop over list and why is this used. Loop over list is, as the name suggests, it's to loop over the inputs or the list of elements to perform a particular action. So to show the examples, I have made use of an API, which, which basically performs the get operation and lists some details in the response body, which I'm trying to fetch through the select details. And then in the response specifically, I want to access the country which generates the list. Now I know there's a list of countries that's coming my way and I should be able to deal with it by doing a loop over list. So when I do a loop over list, every element in the list is picked one at a time and then is passed through this port, which is called an element. For the sake of simplicity and understanding, let's simply add terminal to check what's being displayed. So when I do a start, we can say each list detail is picked one at a time and is displayed onto the terminal. Now, what are the use cases of the loop over list is, you may have to search for a particular record or the details and perform some actions over it. In those cases, loop over list block will come handy. But you have to keep in mind that before using the loop over list, you have to ensure the data that is passed is a list. If it is a record or a dictionary, this may not work. Like for example, I'm trying to access the entire loop, entire body, response body, and then I'll try to loop uh, the input here. Now you can see there will be an error. It's simply because you can see the error here. It's not a list. So when we pass the data to the loop over list block, we have to ensure that we are passing the list. So access the response body, access the place where you see the list. So in my case, it is in country. So when I do that, I will be able to pass it as an input. Then now I'll trigger. So we should be able to see the details in the terminal. So this is a use of a loop over list.